Imagine a massive cosmic beast, a black hole weighing 400 million times the mass of our sun, lying dormant just 800 million years after the Big Bang. Discovered by the James Webb Space Telescope, this remarkable find has opened new doors to understanding how black holes and galaxies form and evolve in the universe. But why is this discovery so groundbreaking? What does it tell us about the early cosmos, and how does it challenge everything we thought we knew? In this video, we will unravel the mystery and explore why this dormant black hole is an astronomical marvel. The James Webb Space Telescope is redefining how we see the universe. Among its many discoveries is this dormant black hole, one of the largest found at such an early stage of the universe. Let's start with how scientists detected this cosmic giant. Unlike active black holes, which are surrounded by glowing accretion disks, dormant black holes are elusive. They lack the high energy emissions that make active black holes easy to spot. So how was this one discovered? Using Webb's infrared imaging and spectroscopy, astronomers observed the host galaxy and noticed unusual spectral patterns. These patterns revealed the presence of a massive gravitational influence, a telltale sign of a black hole. The absence of typical emissions from an accretion disk confirmed its dormant state. This is a game changer because finding such a black hole is like spotting a shadow in a room full of light. It demonstrates the telescope's precision and ability to explore the hidden corners of the cosmos. Now, let's talk about the sheer scale of this black hole. It's 400 million times the mass of the sun, an unimaginable size. To put this into perspective, if our sun were the size of a marble, this black hole would be a sphere nearly three kilometers across. Yet, what's even more fascinating is its dormancy. It's accreting material at a rate 100 times below its theoretical maximum, known as the Eddington limit. This means it's essentially hibernating after possibly undergoing a period of rapid growth. Here's where it gets even more interesting. The black hole's host galaxy is relatively small, yet the black hole accounts for a staggering 40% of its total mass. Compare that to black holes in the local universe, which typically make up about 0.1% of their host galaxy's mass. This discrepancy suggests that black hole growth may have occurred before, or even independently of, galactic growth in the early universe. It challenges the idea that black holes and galaxies grow in tandem and raises questions about the unique environment of the early cosmos. Traditional models suggest that black holes grow steadily over time, but this find hints at a more chaotic, unpredictable process. In standard astrophysics, black holes grow by consuming gas and other matter around them. This process, regulated by the Eddington limit, ensures that the rate of growth doesn't exceed the balance of gravitational pull and radiation pressure. However, this dormant black hole's size and early existence defy these expectations. How could something so massive have formed so quickly after the Big Bang? One explanation is that black holes can undergo periods of super Eddington accretion, where they grow at rates exceeding theoretical limits. Imagine a black hole binge eating, devouring gas and matter at a frenzied pace before settling into a long nap. This cyclical pattern of hyperactivity and dormancy could account for its massive size. Another possibility is that some black holes are born big. Instead of forming from the remnants of dying stars, they may emerge directly from massive gas clouds collapsing under their own gravity. This would bypass the slow process of accretion altogether, explaining their rapid appearance in the universe. Scientists are running simulations to explore these scenarios, and the findings could reshape our understanding of black hole origins. The implications extend to galaxy formation, star formation, and even the behavior of dark matter and dark energy. This discovery also sheds light on the formation of the first galaxies. The relationship between this black hole and its host galaxy suggests that black holes may have played a central role in shaping galaxies, 
rather than simply being byproducts of galactic growth. This challenges conventional ideas about the co-evolution of galaxies and their central black holes. When compared to other black holes detected by the James Webb Space Telescope, this one stands out, not for its size, but for its dormancy. Most black holes from this epoch are actively accreting, emitting luminous energy that makes them easier to detect. This dormant black hole suggests that many similar objects might be hiding in plain sight, detectable only with advanced instruments. If dormancy is part of a broader trend, it may indicate that dormant phases are a common evolutionary stage for black holes. This discovery could prompt astronomers to rethink their strategies for detecting and studying black holes, focusing on both their active and quieter phases. Dormant black holes may also stabilize galaxy evolution. Without the disruptive effects of active accretion, such as jets and radiation, they could allow galaxies to grow more uniformly. Understanding this dynamic might offer valuable insights into how galaxies like our Milky Way formed and evolved over billions of years. While remarkable, this discovery isn't without precedent. In our own Milky Way, dormant stellar mass black holes like Gaia BH3 have been identified. Detected through the European Space Agency's Gaia mission, Gaia BH3, with a mass 33 times that of the Sun, is inactive and lacks a companion star for accretion, making it hard to detect. However, the early universe's dormant black hole is vastly more massive and existed when the universe was less than a billion years old. This contrasts sharply with Gaia BH3, which resides in a mature galaxy approximately 13.8 billion years post-Big Bang. The discovery challenges our understanding of how such massive black holes could form so quickly, prompting deeper exploration into their growth mechanisms and environmental factors. Thank you for watching. If you found this journey through the early universe as fascinating as we did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Stay curious and let's keep exploring the wonders of space together. See you next time.